Hello guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I have my sister here with me because we are doing a yarn haul of yarns she has bought as a beginner. So, are you excited? I'm very excited. I did go a little overboard at Walmart though. Girl, if you think this is overboard, <laughs> you've not watched any of my hauls if you think this is overboard. I meant like for me because this is so new to me and I've already started going crazy. Well, it's okay. So, we have some yarns to share with you from Walmart and Joanne that she purchased, and we're gonna tell you what projects she has planned for them. So, I kinda wanna do the Joanne's one first, if that's okay. That's fine. All right, so the first one is gonna be this Big Twist Value one in the shade Grape. It's a really nice dark purple, and I just like absolutely fell in love with it. And I was thinking about doing a nice scarf because I don't have any scarves anymore and I thought it would be just nicer to make myself one. She's washed my hauls. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to give a couple more details about this that I normally do in hauls. <laughs> I have bought <laughs> big twist value yarns in my videos before so I'm sure you guys know the breakdown but just in case you don't. They are 100% acrylic yarns, 380 yards, 6 ounces. 347 meters, 170 grams. My favorite thing about it is that it shows you for certain projects what you will need size-wise. Ooh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna show at all. But basically on here, if you ever looked at the Big Twist value online at joannes.com, it'll show you on there, like there's like a blanket, a sweater, a hat, and a scarf, and it'll show you the numbers on it. That's how many balls you will need for the projects. And I found that really cool because I actually bought just only one this way for the scarf just to make it easier on myself money-wise. So if you want to like actually get the best value out of it, this is the way to go. The ones that tell you what you need for your projects. I don't know if you realize but you said the best value and it's big twist value. <laughs> Oh my god, that's actually kind of funny. But this is really useful as a beginner and I was pointing that out to her as we were in the store because, you know, when you're a beginner you're not going to know exactly how much you're going to need for each project and it is a lot of math to figure out why you're in the store as well. Especially, at our store is a little bit farther away from us. We have to like take an interstate and go there constantly and that's like, that's not fun for me to drive like every single day when I want to actually make the project and finish it. Yeah, so you don't want to have to go back. Exactly, thank you. So, it is really useful. I will give you guys a close up just really quick here. So it is a really dark purple. If I get any closer to the camera, you guys, it shows up as black. So I have to stay kind of back here. But it is just a really dark purple and this here is what she was mentioning with the different number of skeins it tells you you need. Now. Also for this yarn, it suggests 5mm crochet hooks and knitting needles, and it is a medium weight for. So this is also the weight that she's been using for yarn, so I thought this would be a good one to pick up. And <laughs> she did get this on sale for $2.50. Which it's, was nice. Yeah, instead of the regular price, which I'm not sure what it is, but I think it's like 5 or 4 or something like that. I think it was like $4.99 if I saw right, but I don't remember. Yeah, but anyway. On sale for two fifty. So first skein. Alright, and then this one isn't like an actual skein, it's a kit. I just um yeah, it's Disney the um I could hold it if it read. Yeah. It's the Disney one. It only has Ursula and um Little Mermaid and Ariel in there. Yeah, I was just saying their characters. Oh no. Because um <laughs> Why did I call her a little bit? But the actual kit itself shows you how to make all 10 of them. So that's what I really liked about it a lot. And it's cute finger puppets. So I was thinking about this way I can make it and learn how to start making like dolls this way. But also be able to donate it to like a kid that's like bored in like a hospital or something like that. Just something nice and fun for them to have too to play with the, for the kids that need it. Yeah, and also, this might be a question that some people have. She's not planning on starting any shop or anything like that. This is just no. a hobby for her. She does have a full-time job and everything. So yeah. <laughs> this is just a hobby, and unlike me... Amazon! Yes, she works at Amazon, but this is just a hobby for her, not a business or anything, unlike myself. But <laughs> she's happy to be in videos with me, which we really enjoy. Yeah. This 
kit does include a 2.25 millimeter crochet hook, which she does not have any that small. She has a kit from Boy, but none that small. Mm -hmm. And it includes a tapestry needle, two sets of plastic safety eyes, stuffing, and 10 different colors of yarn. Isn't the tapestry needle like that metal one too instead of the plastic ones? Uh, they're all called tapestry needles technically, I think. Oh, okay. so I don't know if it'll be plastic or uh, metal. I don't know. I've seen other people because I started watching some YouTubers too. <laughs> Not just her. Um, <laughs> wow. And um, they had like metal needles. And I'm like, hmm, yeah, I have metal that might and be plastic. Easier. Oh, but I've just shown you the plastic ones because uh, I find them easier for little like anagurumi and stuff that's what these oh little like the little tiny ones yeah i find plastic ones easier because they kind of bend with you and metal ones i use more for like blankets and stuff because they're more sturdy to pull oh that's why it probably working better for yeah. smaller projects like yeah my first one yeah but anyway which if this you want to see that go to that video her promoting <laughs> <laughs> um yeah but this is the other thing from joanne which the price on this originally was twenty bucks, nineteen ninety nine, but I think you got it. For I got it for fourteen dollars, and then not only that, I think it was still like twenty percent off, something like that. So yeah, the whole like both together, I got it for eighteen dollars. So there you go. So that was awesome. So yep, this is the two things she got from Joanne, and I didn't get anything the time we went. <laughs> That's really impressive, right? But now we're going to show you Walmart, which there is quite a bit more skeins from Walmart. <laughs> oh, a lot. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. We're going to show the first one. These are all going to be the exact same ones. I got one, two, three, <laughs> four, and five. All right. I'll hold like three if you want to hold like two. And yeah. You can talk about it. The main reason why I got this one is for a blanket. Obviously something bigger. And, um... It is the Lion Brand yarn, the um, Mandala. Mandala Ombre. It's basically the cake yarn. Yep. My first cake. It is 5.3 ounces and 344 yards mm -hmm. and 100% acrylic. Yeah. Also 150 grams, 315 meters. I like to say that because yeah. not everybody's no, in America. That's true. <laughs> But yeah, and then it does recommend a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, a 4.5 millimeter knitting needle, knitting needle, and it is a medium four. Yes, and 100% acrylic. So this is a really pretty purple color. What's the color name on this? Chai, I believe. That's how Chai. Saying? Yes. Yeah, C -H -I. C -H -I. So it's very gorgeous, and I thought it'd be very pretty for a blanket. Yes, so her first blanket will pretty much just be like double crochets, something yeah. super simple, but she does have five skeins of this for that blanket. We bought all of them that our local Walmart had. Yep. <laughs> but her favorite color is purple, if you can't tell. I, yeah, I got so many purples. But that's okay. You want to get what you like, obviously. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> but yes, she does have five skeins of these, and they're very pretty. I've used Mandala before for crochet top. And it's just so. really soft too. Like this is actually like the softest acrylic I think I felt. So I thought this would be really good for a blanket just cause it'd be nice and soft and cuddly. Yes, exactly. And it is still the medium for weight that she is used to, which will be good for right now. And as you start to learn more things then you can get to the like thinner yarns or <laughs> thicker yarns. It's just easier to stick to the same weight for right now. Yeah. But Yes, we have a lot of these. So this one I got now is the Peaches and Cream stripey one. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very cute in my opinion. It is a 2 ounce or 56.7 G Gram. grams. And then it's 102 yards or 93 meters. meters. Mm -hmm. And it is in the color Beach House, which I thought was super fun because it's Florida. I do love the sun and stuff. Now, it does recommend 5 millimeters still for the crochet hook, 4.5 millimeter for the knitting needles, and it's still a medium four. Yes, and because we have sizing. And we have 100% cotton, 
which are going to be for more dishcloths. Yes, so we have dishcloth and a lot of um, cotton yarns for dishcloths because she yeah, enjoyed got, making the first one. Yeah, because I also have the yellow peaches and cream as well. This one's the original. Of the, yep, the original version, which is very, still quite soft. It is in the color Sunshine. Which your specs are it a little is, different. Specs meaning. Oh, yeah. It is a 2.5 ounce yarn which is 70.9 grams. This one is 120 yards or 109 meters. And same hooks and needles. Yeah, all the same use. as the other stuff, just the skein is yep. a little bigger. And um, one and then, more. Yep, we got forest green, which actually has some other colors too with it, but it is mostly a foresty type color very gorgeous i do like it a lot and it this is, one is the same size as the last one it's basically going to be all these are for dishcloths because they're all the cotton ones these last bits are and i just thought dishcloths would be perfect to actually continue practicing my stitch size for them when i want to go bigger i can then start on the blanket and the the um scarf scarf that i want to make yes so we have a lot of cotton yarns, which actually we went to Walmart first. So she picked all of this out first and then came up with the scarf idea afterwards. But yeah. now she does have at least a good two to three months worth of projects, I think, with all of these yarns. It probably maybe even a little bit longer too, since I do have a full-time job. Yeah, well, you know what? It's a hobby. So the good thing about it being a hobby is you can work on it whenever you want to, and it does not have to be an everyday thing like it is for me. <laughs> but, yeah, that's true. But yes, these two skeins are just 0.5 ounces larger than these two. Mm -hmm. These two are in the same color, that way she can make one dishcloth out of this. And then, and then these are going to be two separate dishcloths because they are the same size as the one that we used in the original video for my very first project. Yes, which was the dishcloth. And I'm going to link all of that below for you guys, the video where I taught her all the basic stitches and the video where she did her first project, which was a dishcloth. That's why we're talking about dishcloths so yeah. much, if you didn't get the idea or if you didn't watch that video beforehand. But both of those videos will be linked below for you guys. And um, let me know if you want to see more yarn hauls with her whenever she buys more yarn. It'll obviously be probably quite a while before she buys more, just because she has a lot of projects here already to start. Yeah, and I don't want to buy any more until then because I would like to save money. Well, I'm trying to get her in the habit of buying yarn whenever she has a project in mind <laughs> instead of like me and having a little bit, a lot of it, of an obsession. Oh, you got a lot of yarn, honey. Yes, and also if you guys saw my organization video back in December, I organized a whole drawer set of yarn that is for me and her to share, yarns that I have bought that I don't really have a plan for, so she can use any of those yarns for other projects if something pops into her head that she wants to make as well. Or all of my yarn is not off limits, it's just that section is yarn she doesn't have to ask me about. But any yeah. of my yarn she can use. I will just want her to ask first. That way I'm not like, why is this like, missing? You know? In case it's also for like a certain project or something that you're yes. using too. Exactly. That'd be bad. I wouldn't really want you to use my yarn that I'm in the middle of using for a sweater or something, but you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but um, yeah. So she also has plenty of yarn at her disposal. It is not just what we showed you here. Yeah. But um, anyways, you guys, that is pretty much going to be it for this video. As normal for all of my yarn hauls, all of the yarns will be linked below for you guys. And um, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank and you. you did such a great job of telling everybody all the information on these. Um, yeah. And also, if you guys want to see, you can let me know. But I'm kind of planning <laughs> on, I'm just putting you on the spot a little bit here. Okay. But um, I'm kind of planning on having her in my Everything I Crocheted videos. So if you guys do want her to give you updates on what she's been making, um, yeah. I can include her in those videos with me. That way you guys can kind of be updated with her progress and see whenever she has finished products. Um, so you can let me know on that. And 
that is basically it though yeah so if you guys do want that or you just want to see more yarn hauls with her or maybe we could do like crochet with us and answer questions if you guys have questions about her like being a beginner or um anything like that then you can leave those in the comments below and we could get back to those in like a crochet with us where we both sit here and crochet and just kind of chat yeah whatever you guys want to see or if you have any other ideas that i didn't mention you can also leave those below but that is going to be it for this video so thank you so much for watching if you guys do want to see more from me you can always check out more videos of mine my blog my etsy shop my podcast all of my social medias my vlog channel and you can now join this channel for more exclusive content and perks. All of that is always included in the description box down below for you guys. And with all of that, thank you all so much for watching this video. And I will see you here on Mondays and Fridays and Sundays and Wednesdays on my vlog channel. <laughs> and hopefully with my sister again soon in another video. Goodbye, guys. Bye.